our friends, uh, Sarah, and, Sarah and Kathy. Um, and we went thrifting all the way from Utah to New Mexico today. Yep. Would we make four stops, five stops? I think, um, I think we made so all total four stops. Four stops, which is pretty good. Although, ironically, we got the most stuff for the least <laughs> amount of price in Utah, in price, actually. Yep. There was a, there was a DI, our favorite thrift store ever, in Price, Utah, a little, little town on, in between Provo and Moab. And we stopped in there right as they opened and found a whole basket full of stuff. Yeah, and everything was like seriously like a dollar. We got out of there for 36 bucks and Zeb's like, we never get out of the thrift store for that little bit of price. We usually spend a hundred actually, <laughs> like right around a hundred. <laughs> if you like uh, thrift hauls and videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And you can shop along with us today at jrvhome.com. Um, that is our home decor website. And uh, just heads up, we're not painting because this is not our house. We didn't bring paint. We didn't bring paint. We didn't want to make a mess. So just kind of. And I must say, Sarah and Kathy are real into uh, mood lighting. We moved a couple of your lamps. So if you're watching, I will put those back. We moved all of your lamps and took off a lampshade because there's not a lot of overhead <laughs> lighting. And I was like, oh, shoot, we should have brought a ring light. <laughs> we would give you a tour of the place because it's really awesome the way they've got the decor set up. But maybe on our way back because we're staying here on our way back in the morning. I'll get some footage and we'll show you how cool it is. Yeah, it's really fun. Okay, so the first creamer was one dollar. It is an English style creamer. I'm not sure if it's from England. It just looks really a lot like what I have found from there. A lot of times things like creamers the don't necessarily have maker's marks on the bottom. It's like on the other pieces of the China set. It does have a chip and it is $7.95. And I showed it in um, in the listing. What I love is the handle. Can they see how cool yeah, that is? Yeah, let me it's show you. Like, it's like a double handle. And then it's got all these little details that are like embossed on it, which is kind of my favorite thing. It's definitely granny chic. So, did you tell them where to find this stuff? Oh yeah, jrvhome.com. Saturday Thrift Haul. Saturday Thrift Haul collection, and Kayla's dropping links. So if you're watching the replay, you can go ahead and cl like click live chat, and then you can see the chat plus the links. So we are what is known as the we're, we're at the uh, the Prairie Blossom Home. Yeah, I believe I, is what they call it. I told them that. Yes, but someone's asking. Oh, and it's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I was like, I thought. Well, sometimes I think I say things. I'm pretty sure you but said. But I just it. think them, so I don't know. Okay, so we went to this DI in Price. They still had Christmas from like five years ago out. They've yeah. never put it away. Well, they, don't. they had so much Christmas there. Our DI has Christmas, but it's like a four foot section. Their DI has an entire row of Christmas plus Christmas sprinkled elsewhere. But we did find some diamonds in the rough. Check out this winky Santa. So it, it, there's actually two pieces. Um, and I He's paid a dollar fifty each for them. And I looked them up. And they sell for anywhere between $125 for the pair, all the way up to like $225 a piece. Now these are hand painted by somebody. They need a little bit of magic eraser, but otherwise good condition. Um, and the company that made them is Atlantic Mold, which apparently is a popular vintage like ceramics company. So super cute. If you guys are out, I've bought a lot of these before, but this is the first time I found this particular pattern. But look up winking santa atlantic mold and you can see how much these go for so you know every time we thrift stuff that's like christmas when it's like not you know october to december i'm always like oh man we're really reaching but without fail someone will love these swipe them up or have been looking for them forever or had them as a kid and can't find them anywhere so if just pro tip if you're thrifting and you find good quality like vintage or retro christmas stuff get it because if you don't sell it now you can from like october to december you can sell that the, stuff a lot of the stuff that's like santa and things like that always sell right away so we're selling the set for i think i saw it 79.95 so i saw it at the low end i saw like 125 on the high end i saw them up to 225 each so, so i feel still like a pretty good deal. that's a really good price and they so. do need a magic eraser they do need a little bit of love uh, well kaylin's i gotta send careful. them that way because i don't have room over here okay kaylin because they're hand painted you don't want to take off the yeah the you don't want to get super aggressive because uh magic erasers are basically like six thousand grit sandpaper and they will take stuff off all right so we found this in cortez cortez is that what it is i and you know what i don't know if cortez is in the corner of colorado or if it's in new mexico i can't remember now 
It's a giant, I think it's, it's called. It's a huge like antique, antique mall and only one person owns it. They're not booths in there and it's ridiculous. It's like a huge warehouse. We, they had a lot of stuff, but we're like, oh, we don't want to fill up the car yet. We're going to Round Top. Well, it was full on retail, but I always advise, like, even if you think a place like, oh, I can't pick it because it's an antique store, certain things sell for different pl prices in different places. So I always like to look because sometimes they'll undervalue something that I would give a higher value to, like this scoop. So this brass scoop, we love scoops. We've always got uh, galvanized and metal tin type scoops, but this one's got a wood handle. It's brass. And it's just Irish. really cool. And it even I has don't... like a, a hole in here so you could hang it on the wall for decor and put like some cute dried flowers in it. That's what well, I would do. Look at you. You probably thought about how to use all this stuff all the way down here. I did. It was $6 and it's already sold. We sold it for $12.95. Oh, <laughs> it already went, huh? Yep. <laughs> Cortez is in Colorado. Oh, right. So. See, I knew it was like right, it's like right there close. Like when you're getting ready to, you like cut across after you get out of Moab and you go through Moab. Monticello, and then you hit a little bit of corner of Colorado, and then you drop into New Mexico when you're coming to Albuquerque. At least that's the fastest way I go. So we're going to show you all the things from that particular antique store. So this rolling pin, where I live, these are super hard to find. Here, I paid $6 for it, and I'm selling for $14.95. So I personally have paid $13 to $14 for this style rolling pin like to have for myself where we live. We can never get them inexpensive. So six bucks and I'm selling for $14.95. It looks like the handles were originally painted red. It's very, very it's common. It's red paint. And now it's it's actually been used and washed and, and uh, it's worn off a bit. I love the wood on the end. The dowel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this has a wood dowel through it. A lot of times they like to do like uh, plastic or um, aluminum dowels these yeah. days. But this is a wooden dowel. And this is kind of the style that I patterned the ones that Ty makes. This handle has, it, the ones we have are a little bit larger, but similar to this. Marlene, we did drive through Farmington and we actually did pick a few things from their Goodwill, albeit probably the saddest Goodwill I've ever been to. There was not a lot of great stuff. I feel like New, since New Mexico is just barely starting to open up that people are really hitting things hard. Like there know. were people out and about. There was another thrift store we passed that maybe we should stop. Okay, this is not really what That's not, oh yeah. We're gonna do this next. This is also from... Um, Deb and Cynthia both have that rolling pin, and they said it is really old. Yeah. So I'm not really sure one. how old they didn't look it up, but I felt like $6 was a great price. If I can double my money, I'm willing to buy from another vendor because then that helps another person in the business out because I'm buying an item from them, but I can still make a profit. It's the circle of junk. The circle of junk. And it'll live in our house if it's really good stuff for a while, and then she'll sell it when she gets other stuff she likes more. Or if her... Her uh, mood changes and she's like, I don't like that anymore and I want to change it. So let me show you this. This is just a fun little bird here. Brass. Um, so this is a little brass dish and it has a bird. Does it have like flowers or just leaves on the top? So it's, it's a leaf flower. with Roses. a rose. It looks like a little rose bush that the bird is on. The, the beak is blunt but not broken. It's, no, it's not broken. It's just the style. Yeah. But it's just a cute little brass vintage dish. It was $6.95 and I'm going to sell it for $14.95. Um, we did not thrift in Albuquerque because they were closed by the time we got here. Yeah. And then tomorrow we're leaving first thing for Texas. So. Um, Issa, we are going to Texas. We're going to be in Bernie for a day or two. Yep. And then we're going to be in Round Top for the rest of it. All right, so back to the Price Thrift Store. We found a really cool rolling pin. Not as old as the last one, but like a decent amount of age on this it. This one was a dollar. I like it because it's got the thin, you don't often find them with wood handles where they've got this thin uh, base where the actual What do we call the shaft? I just call them rollers. Okay. <laughs> but you can see on the older one, this is more of a traditional size and this is thinner. So this one already sold for $10.95 and it's got some wear on it, which I love. And we'll paint, what we'll do is we'll paint the handles and wax them. Once and then we it get kind home. of mimics, yeah. Just, oh, just disclaimer, I was just going to say. Oh, you say it. <laughs> no, I, I, we were going to say the same thing at the same time. We're going to be gone for a week, so this stuff won't make it back to Utah and get shipped to you for at least a week. So yeah, be so patient, please. If you order it today, <laughs> all everything ordered today will not ship until a week from, like, a week from Monday. From this thrift haul. From this thrift haul. Yeah. Every, everything else in the store and that you buy on our website will totally ship out. Yeah, and we're still doing but, the sale, right? Yes. But this stuff will not ship out because it's with us. But my shipping team is working all week getting the rest of the orders out. 
So we'll so. be in Round Top Monday through Thursday? Yeah, we're not doing any like events or anything, but when we get back to Burmy on April 1st, we're doing a meet and greet yeah. at um, the sanctuary. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's, what else? We did this one and we did this one. Okay, Where did we ones. get these? Where did you find these at? So these were a dollar for the set and these oh, are yeah, they were from, wrapped in tape. I didn't even recognize They were wrapped these. in tape. And they're salt and pepper shakers. There is a big chip in his hat, but I don't care. It's still cool. I, busts are really, really um, popular right now. And show them there's an old well, lady. And it's an and old then, chip. Like, it looks like it's been around yeah. for a long time. And then a gentleman with a top hat. And you can kind of see that the rubber stopper is kind of older in them. And there's a maker's mark on the bottom, but I could not tell what it was. So I just for included a picture of that in the listing. Um, and they're $8.95. I would sell them probably for more like $12 or $14.95 if it didn't have the chip. But because of the chip, I felt like $8.95 was a good price and I paid a dollar. Okay, these were also from the DI. <clears throat> and I was like, hey, maybe that subject matter is ah, very... This is PG-13 if your kids veering, are in the room. It's veering away from our PG atmosphere that we try to hey. exude here. There are uh, no body parts <laughs> shown. It's very modest. I was mostly just teasing Jamie. It's very... Mm -hmm. it's, it's fine, I think. Um, <laughs> but you know, oops, we're just okay. a fun old antique bath, and really the frames are great. Like so, I don't know if you get them, you might not even want to keep the subject matter in there. No, so this is a, a famous artist. Oh really? He's known for his prints. I looked it up. I spent lots of time in the car, <laughs> so I googled everything today. His name is R. Hendrickson. Now I'm going to tell you right now, these are very mild for his work. So should you Google him, just be prepared sir, for some very interesting sepia prints. But this one is like a hillbilly, it's called hillbilly bathtub and he's just like getting a bath, that's fine subject matter. But this is like a married, legally and lawfully wedded couple having a little beverage out of their um, vintage stoneware. I don't know if it's whiskey or water, whatever, um, in that bath. And they have wooden solid wood frames on them. And I paid a dollar for each of them. And I saw that his prints start at about $20, and I'm selling the pair for $22.95. So nice. if you're in for a little PG-13 bathroom decor, there you go. My mom's watching. She made it. We were talking to her in the car. Oh, she and got it. Uh, I'm like, hey, mom, we'll be on tonight at uh, 8.30 Utah time. Oh, she knows that every week, but sometimes she falls asleep before that because she's, she's an hour ahead oh, of Julia us. Odelia says it will say it's apple juice in that stoneware jug. Yeah, I like where you're at, Odelia, and I love apple juice. All right, so... <laughs> Carts and Millie says nothing dirty about a bath. And ah, then Janice... Ah, you're punny, Tarnia. Good I mean, job. We, we, we have a shower with two shower heads, okay? Tarnia and I were There's just no talking about, about dad jokes in the business coaching group, how I'm good at those and I don't do a lot of work. I just make dad uh, jokes. My sweater is not. <laughs> I don't even know where it came from. I've had it forever. But my taco okay. shirt is at JRB Home. So do you guys remember... The, uh, we had a big bin like this uh, bucket last week that was hammered. Um, this one has a copper band around it. This is its little brother. It was $1.50. How it's much still, did we sell it's it It's probably for? like eight inches tall. Yeah, I would say this is like a gallon sized jug. Yeah, um, yeah, it definitely is a gallon. Because a crock that I have is usually two gallons, so this is probably one gallon. Um, mm -hmm. And it's $14.95 and I paid $1.50 and it's brass and copper. Um, Perfect very, for your like, spring planting. Boho mid-century, but also lends itself to French country. So the brass, the antique brass and the antique copper are really a French country farmhouse type vibe. So you can really mix it in a lot of different styles. It would look really pretty with like a fiddle fig or like a draping green plant situation. Something fake, something real, whatever. Is this actual crystal or is this glass? Um, that is actual crystal. So we it's, have a his and her goblet. Uh, that's what I called him in the listing. So this slightly, one's just slightly larger. Just like Zeb, he's just slightly larger than me. I'm getting to be a lot larger. You always have to. Be I was telling Jamie when we're driving down here, I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta have like a midlife life crisis workout going when I get home off of all these <laughs> trips. Like, I was eating like 4,000 calories a day building the house, and then I stopped building the house, but I'm still eating 4,000 calories a day. <laughs> so these were a dollar, is there a price tag on them? I think they were a dollar they each. They were, yeah, they were a dollar each. They were a dollar each. They're Lady Victoria crystal, and it's not, like, you know how some goblets are, like, thin and chintzy? This is a nice, thick crystal, which is great, um, and they are from France, and I'm selling the pair for $14.95, his and hers. Kai, that is an interesting question. We did go see it. It was amazing. It's going to need lots and lots of work. 
We're in the process of getting a contract written up and going from there, but it's looking good. Once we know cost, more, we'll let you know. It's going to cost like a million dollars. So, and please, you think I'm please kidding. shop our junk. So shop our junk. <laughs> <laughs> so we can buy this next project. It's going to be awesome. Mm. Okay. That almost, like I said, a million dollars. I'm like, woo. All right. It's not actually that much, but by the time we're done with it, it might be close. <laughs> right. Commercial <laughs> property is that way. All right, next, that found these. So I we were getting ready to them. leave. We were leaving. I'm like, ah, we, we're not finding anything good here. And then we went down the aisles one more time. We found like 10 more things. And this was one of them. Um, little salad tongs, tarnished silver. And we, anytime we get anything tarnished silver, we scoop it up. These were made in Italy. They're silver plated. Um, and they're not thin. They're like a nice, thick, good weight yeah. for the tarnished silver. And we paid a dollar. I told you everything at that thrift store was, was legit like a dollar or a dollar fifty. So Jamie, if you're looking at the pictures on, <laughs> on the website, yeah, Jamie was in the back seat for about an hour and a half taking pictures of this stuff. We had an old blanket that she'd thrown up there and like they're sitting on a, a box. cardboard box on the seat behind the driver's seat and she's like snapping pictures and listing these on the website while we're going down the highway today so these are 12.95 for these tarnished tongs the other thing too is that i i had the seat so we have captain seats in the second row and i had it down but it was like at an angle so i was constantly trying to get things to not like roll off but also to oh, not look you don't crooked. have it latched it kept giving me a warning that's why i didn't know you'd put the seat down i'm like why does that seat keep telling me it's not latched <laughs> Robin says that's, that new project is how you'll burn 4,000 calories. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> I'm not done with the last project yet. Oh, Rave Home Staging and Vintage B Design gave us a super chat and it says pool fund or commercial real estate, you decide. Well, Zeb, thank you. Ironically, Zeb's like, so are we going to get that pool still? And I was like, listen, Linda, I went with a cheaper roof and the cheaper flooring and I installed it all myself. So... I want a pool. Not, I think we can make the pool work. I might have to sell a kidney, but it's cool. All right. Here's the thing. It's kind of like an investment because a pool, from what I've seen, if you add a pool to your home, you can at least get what you paid for it back out, if not more. And yeah. a pool, if we do it right, is not super common in Utah, so it probably add more value to the house. Exactly. So it's a it's a win-win. It's like an investment, right? That's what it That's is. what I tell myself. <laughs> <laughs> but your truck, is that an investment? It built the house, so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> the, the next truck? All right. The next truck is for the commercial property. <laughs> oh, thanks, Leslie. Super chat. She said same oh, for the thank new you, store. Leslie Johnson. And we also, let's see. I, oh, I thought we got a, a new channel member, but I missed it. M missed it. Um, it's just a kidney, Jamie. That's why you have two. Oh, goodness. And then Robin <laughs> says, still waiting for the listen, Linda T. Somebody probably has like... I think it might be, that. yeah, it's not our saying. We just, you know, there's a famous YouTube video out there that's going around that we love. All right, so this, we could not, she, Jamie Googled and Googled and Googled, didn't she, while we were in there? Yeah, so I- It's just a fun little creamer. Let my me show you Kathy the My says she thinks it's Danish. It's definitely stoneware. It's got a few imperfections in the glazing, like um, it's evident that they didn't like want it to look perfect. You know how when you see like mass produced stuff at the dollar store, it's all like, super pristine or whatever. It's got some imperfections. So I think that it's older, but the reason why I'm almost 99% sure it's older is because the number and letter on the bottom to me looks a lot like what we saw when we were in Europe yeah. on a lot of things. So can you guys it's see that? It's hard to see and the, it's like the a light's light really green bright tonight. stamp on the bottom. And I paid 99 cents for this and I'm selling it for, let's see if I can find it, um, $6.95. So it might be worth more than that, but I wasn't sure of its origin. So I thought $6.95 was a good price and it's a cute little creamer. So definitely stoneware. Um, I, I would be willing to bet that it's vintage because the stamp is kind of like old and imperfect and it's got like this wear here. So anyways, beautiful clean lines. And that was a Goodwill find in Farmington, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. So you can find junk in Har Farmington, just so you know, Marlene. We did find some. I did find junk. Just a few things. We only had like 10 minutes to shop. We probably oh, could have done a little better in there. It's got freckles. Yes, that's what Lolly called it. It has freckles in the stoneware. So, okay. Small woven basket. Also from the DI in price. Paid $1 and I'm selling it for $7.95. I'm picky about my baskets. I love this one because of the woven design that it has. It's kind of like a, um, what's that called? 
So that's not Chevron. Uh, now I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, right? They do it in flooring. Oh, like the herringbone? Yeah, it's almost like herringbone. It's kind of like that. I and guess I could see where you're at on if that. You, if you turn it sideways. Anyways, and it's got the strapping around the top and the bottom is woven really cool too. So $7.95 for that cute little basket. Um, oh, and Sally said, the pool prices in Phoenix have gone through the roof. Many pool companies have a wait list for a year. We will drive to Utah to swim. Sally, come on over. Yeah, we, uh, we're we on a six month wait list. Like they don't even, we've been talking to them since January and they don't even break ground on it until like middle June. of June. But they moved us up a month, so. I'm glad about We're that. We're like, man, we hope we can swim in it this summer before, before uh, you know, it gets cold again. It is perfect size for napkins. I actually would probably put like some white, like ironstone in her or like some dried flowers would also be really pretty. This is Jamie's Mormon memorabilia pick from Price, Utah. And if I was like- you have a comment about I'm, it, don't make it. I was like, oh, it's broken and chipped. And then she looked it up. She's like, these are selling for like $80. No, it was 40 bucks. <laughs> oh, it's 40, okay. For. I pay $2 each. So we live in Utah and this kind of stuff sells really, really well. There's Brigham Young. They're not stone, they're cement, but they're painted to look like stone. And Joseph Smith, and they've got the scriptures and they're made by Plaster Decor in 1980. Yeah, 1980. I did mention in the listing that they do have chips. Are we gonna paint these when we get back home or are we um, gonna leave no, them? No, I'm gonna leave them and they can paint them. And I don't, oh, so, 19, and I'm gonna sell them for 19.95. Because they need to be painted. So, and they do have a little bit of wear on them. Um, on plaster stuff like this, when you get when you get a chip like that, if you're going to paint it, just take a piece of sandpaper, sand that off, and if you want, you can put some little bit of paper clay, that air dry clay that IOD makes worked really well. And a lot of times you can just sculpt that corner back on there, put a little paint on there, and no one even knows that it ever had a chip. But honestly, I buy these even if I didn't live in Utah, because I'm telling you, bus are, all the rage right now. I'm seeing them in a ton of decor and design and they're hard to find. So I don't care whose religious person it is. It, I am going to definitely be buying busts. So um, super chat from Joni Marie. I'm investing in your new store too. Thank oh, you. Thank you. It's going to be fun. We're really, we're hoping we can get it because I, I'm not, I can't say too much about it. We're just, it's going to be awesome. If we get it, it'll be like a huge life changing deal for us as far as our business goes so <laughs> stacy says i buy all the busts yeah stacy dean just did a bust on her facebook page um and she put like cute molds all over it, and then she gave it a fun paint job it looked really cute are you uh, guys are you guys ready for this next one so so this is did, this I is holographic i'm gonna show you that it turns story, on real quick tell I the knew story i loved it and i'd seen it before and so i shared it with my sisters and my sister deborah said grandma taylor had one of those that's my mom's mom and i'm like i knew it was it Jesus on the cross and everywhere you went in the room, he could watch you? And she's like, yep. So this is, first of all, I, when I found Hold it, on, I gotta, sure, was it plugged in? So when I found it, it was sideways. I thought it was just a filigree tin tray, which I was like, cool, whatever. And I pulled it up and I was like, that is a holographic last supper. I hey, have to buy it. I'm gonna unplug it so I can show you guys close. Yeah, so I paid $5 for it. It has a light, it does work. It also has, um, it also has the thing so you can like sit it up or you can hang it on a wall. It's got a couple scratches on the holographic part, but check out the frame on that. It's really great press tin, but let me see if I can get the holographic. You can see kind of in the background, watch the shadow in the window. So I decided- It's hard with the glare. Oh, there we go. I can fix the glare. I decided bit. to do a little bit of research on it. I could tell it was vintage by the sticker that was on the back of it. $164. I was like, what? And then I looked them up and these things sell for big bucks. So I was like, I paid $5 for it. And I'm like, well, I can't sell it for $164. Let me see. I can't even remember how much I put it in there for. I'm waiting for, oh, $89.95. So about half of what they sell for on Etsy. But I couldn't pass it up. I'm like, somebody is going to need a holographic Last Supper that lights up, and where are they gonna get it? Me. So, there you go. Coolest, weirdest thing I've probably ever bought Now, in, in Jamie's defense, she oftentimes gets stuff that she just thinks is cool, but won't necessarily, like, I don't know that we have a spot for that in our home anywhere, that particular painting. The Last Supper Talk is Talk to yourself, a, I will a, find a spot for Where that. are you gonna put that? I'm out the hallway, anywhere I want Jesus to watch the kids. 
Oh, above. I hope up, he has a sense. You of should humor. put it up above the drinking fountain then. Oh, I do have Jesus above the drinking fountain because he's that's still where, living water. Yeah, that's that's where it is right now. Anyways, it's cool, so I had to buy it. <laughs> okay, so we've got peach lusterware. Just one offering today. It was a dollar. We didn't find any friends for it. It did have a friend, but I didn't like it. Oh, what was it? It was just a mug. Oh. I just like creamers. So I bought. I paid a dollar for it, and I'm gonna sell it for six ninety five. Um, Caitlin says that we should put it in the dining room. I'm like, my grandma had one and it was him on the cross and it was a green background in it. So it's like very nostalgic for me because my grandma Taylor had awesome style. So obviously I had to buy it. So when you're out thrifting, maybe go run through the kids section every now and then and check out the stuffed animals because this one here, you know, we're not talking about beanie babies. This one here is very vintage and very sought after and collectible. So it's almost in perfect condition. It's the, like the fur is a little matted, but not because it's dirty, just because it's old. It's all clean. Like there's no stains. The ribbon is clean. It's vintage Gund, G-U-N-D. I believe it's a Canadian company. This was made in New York. Um, and in the picture, it looks like it only has one eye, but he has two. It's got the tongue out, which is kind of unique. And it's from 1960 and it's in amazing shape. I would buy it even if it wasn't it's old. It's actually very soft and plush. Yeah, I would buy it even if it wasn't old because I buy sheep all the time and they always sell. But this one has rubber stuffed. That's that's what it's stuffed with. Yep. It's a lamb and I paid $1 for it and I'm selling it for $19.95. So, and the way I look it up, if you guys are It does are ever, stand too, like it stands up. Yeah, it's so awesome. So if you guys are ever looking up stuff, I try to search different things. So when I searched this one, I said vintage lamb gunned with the green tag. And that's how I was able to distinguish the age of the piece because that particular label only was done from like 1960 to 1970. Lolly says gunned is very collectible. Um, and Bass Wife said, or sorry, Bass Wife said the fact that it has a tongue is really good. They usually get ripped off. Ripped off. Yeah. So. Lucked out there, paid a dollar, and we're gonna sell it for nineteen ninety five. So normally I would be painting this tonight, but you know, no paintbrush or paints. I wouldn't paint it. I like it. This is just a fun goose. I almost passed on it because I was like, ah, oh, you know, we don't really sell a lot of geese. But I just, you know, I liked the way the feathers were, and then I showed it to Jamie. She's like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> it does have a little bit of a chip on the beak, which I think I put in the listing. I think that was. Does it have a price tag? I'm pretty sure that was also a dollar. Everything was pretty much a dollar. We got out of there. It was like thirty three dollars, and we had a full cart. And the the Last Supper holographic was five dollars. The most expensive <laughs> item was five dollars. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Vicky says, anywhere I want Jesus to watch the kids. Where was this when my kids were little? <laughs> um, and Amber's and Unique Gifts uh, did a super chat and says, happy travels. So that I paid a dollar and I'm selling it for twelve ninety five. Um, and Kai says, love that goose, it so is, English it, cute. It is very kind of got like an English look with the green. It's a little dusty, but other than that, like the coloring on it is really, really good. Okay, it was so a good, it was a good week for the fowls, geese. This is a swan. Same, same. Is it the same thing? Pretty much. Well, that is prettier <laughs> than the other one. I think swan Cynthia says, geese, I don't they? want geese to come back, they haunt me. Well, this is a swan, Cynthia, so you're in luck. All right, so this one has crazing. There is just a little chip on the bottom. Um, but it's got the maker or whoever glazed it, TG on the bottom there. But you know, succulent season, it's time to uh, get your little plant planters out. And I think I'd put some like leafy vines on there if you could get them to grow, like nothing too big. Oh, yeah, that would be cool too. All right, like, so what's that? What's that? Is that a spider plant that your dad grows? And yeah, I have one coming. I have, I have a little fiddle fig that I'm growing. So this we paid a dollar. It was a dollar. Everything was a dollar. And we were selling it for eleven ninety five. I like the shape on it. It's got a really good arch to its neck. Sometimes they arch them way over and they're like looking at the water. I like how this one's like up and looking around. Um, Melissa Morrow says that I'm right, that that is a swan. Yeah. Aren't swans and geese like pretty much the same thing? I don't know. Aren't my they all owl. geese? And hi, Les. All right. So we've shown all those. Let's show the stuff in that corner. Okay, so little, you know, I told you there was a lot of Christmas and not to pass it up. There's more coming. I never pass up a Santa mug unless it's from the dollar store, then I pass. So this is actually made by Patty Madsen in 19, hold on, 85. 85. 1985, um, handmade ceramics. Somebody really loves ceramics in Price, Utah because we found a lot of them. This one is good, and I pay 50 cents for each of these, and I'm selling them for $9.95 each. 
Oh, yep, $9.95 each. Because sometimes people just want one, so instead of selling a pair, I'm selling them individually. Because a lot of people have these in collections, and they want like one of each different style that they have. So, we always pass on these in the spring, and then we can never find them when it comes later in the year. So I went ahead and snagged these up. Now, I probably would not have bought them. However, they're pewter, and I love pewter, so I always pick it up when I can. And then I did some research. And they're Carson, which is a, um, a good vintage pewter brand that is sought after. It's made in Pennsylvania, and we're selling them individually. So this is the Elf. That is the um, snowman. We've I had Santa. Santa. And, and then, then we've got a bear, all the toys. A teddy bear. And then I paid, how much were these each? They were a dollar each. A dollar, everything was a dollar each. Mm -hmm. A dollar each for these, and I think we have them for $9.95. Oh, price, price was like the hidden honey hole where it didn't feel like their their shelves were stacked it didn't look like very many people shopped there but they got a lot of donations kind of situation um it was a smaller store and we yeah and we you know if you dig a little you can sometimes really find some good stuff so $8.95 each for these and we are selling sorry what was i gonna say eight ninety five dollar. i was gonna say something else i don't know oh when I looked them up, I found the vintage ones for about 20 bucks. So $8.95 is a good deal. Sorry, I totally lost my train of thought. Spent too much time in the car. So we've shown all that. So we have this pile over yep, here. We gotta right. get that pile. Oh, here, I do need to show these. These have mismatched. And then after this, no more Christmas. Maybe. I mean, if we find good stuff, we'll probably still No, I mean, there's no more Christmas on the table. Oh, I'll catch you. I'm like, if we find good stuff, like it could be May, we might have some Christmas stuff. Um, so leather skates, uh, we always pick them up. They're older. They're, well, especially if they're like actual real leather. They look like they're hand sewn on the bottom. Yeah, they could have been. They're imperfect. They, they still got mud on them from whoever was using them last. So they need a good cleaning and one's got a pink lace and one's got a black lace, but get the right matching laces in there, clean that leather up. And these are perfect for your, you know, at the antique store, I saw like 30 sets of these. Yeah, and they and all usually different sell sizes. for between 30 and $40. I personally prefer black skates over white skates. I don't know why, which is weird because um, Renee says, Jamie, mom already misses you. <laughs> That's funny. Um, anyway, I don't know why I prefer black over white because I like white and everything else, but those are my favorite color for skates. And we're selling yeah. for $19.95 and we paid, I actually don't know because there wasn't a tag on them, but I think they couldn't have been more than two bucks. Yeah, weren't they from the DI in price? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ironically, they like we were talking about the Jesus um, Last Supper picture and the guy that checked us out, his name was also Jesus, yeah. and he thought the picture was great and that we were funny. <laughs> He's like, this is a weird collection of things. Yeah, he was like, why are you guys buying all this weird stuff? Like, what are you going to do with it? Like, don't worry about it. We got something we got planned. <laughs> we're says doing a special room. Kaylin says the same thing. Um, there's something about the black ones that makes them look more vintage. All right, so salt and pepper shakers. These are great. They're like upside down mugs. They're big too, about twice the size of a regular salt and pepper shaker. And They're not S old, but they are cute. And I think they were like 50 cents a piece. I don't know, is there a price tag on the bottom? Oh, they're a dollar a piece. Dollar Duh. each. Everything was a dollar. I don't they know do have their rubber stoppers. And so I paid. Which a lot of times you'll find these and they don't have the stoppers in them yeah. anymore. Unless they're really cool. If they don't have the stoppers, I don't buy them. Um, and I'm selling this up for $9.95. All the mom's heart. What, what are we talking about? Uh, oh, Renee says she doesn't know why she misses me because I'm never home anyways. I'm home all the time. She's just in her room. Yeah, mom's always... I'm home more than I'm not home. She goes in there and she... Uh, Unless I'm driving kids She places. hides out. She, go, she goes in spurts. She'll... In the morning, she's real alert, real awake. She gets out there, does a bunch of stuff, gets a load of laundry going, and then she gets pooped out and she goes and rests for a couple hours. And then she comes back out and she does some more stuff. And then she gets pooped out and she goes and lays down for a little while. Hey, she's 81. It's her prerogative. Yeah. All right. So when we went to that antique store, it was kind of funny. Across we pulled out the street. directly across the street. I see a sign and it says restore. And I was like, Sam, look what's across the street. They didn't have a lot, but what they did have was good. So I got three silver trays from the restore. Um, I paid $3 each for them or $3 for two and then $5 for the one with feet. So the two without feet. I'm gonna sell for $12.95 each for these platters. So this one and that one? And this one and that one, yeah. That one has, kinda has that. So they were edge. three, three, and five, right? Yeah, and this one I paid five dollars for, and I'm selling it for $19.95 because it has feet. And the, the ones with feet are always more like popular. And you know what I was thinking? Well, this, this one's look, heavier duty, like it's fairly thick. Yeah, this one is thick too. Yeah. And actually for a filigree, this is not a lightweight tarnished silver plate. Like they're all good heavy duty. 
But I thought this one, because of its shape, would be good with a like a cake dome. Like if you found oh. a, a lone dome on yeah. this silver tray, would be so pretty. Which we find one about three times a month. Lately, it's like every time. There's the feet for you. You can see them there. Um, and then, oh, Heidi gave a super chat. She said, because you're cute and keeping me entertained tonight. Well, thank you, Heidi. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. We haven't had too many jokes, but we did have a couple little stories going. Are you buying weighted silver? Um, so weighted silver would be like 925, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is, I do buy it. When if I we can. can find it, yeah. I own some. I usually don't sell it. So when I buy the 925 and stuff, I usually keep it. So this is our first time trying these out. You know, you've got all your vintage dishes. We're like, you know what, Tupperware, vintage Tupperware. I remember my mom having Tupperware and she'd take it out and like have this big green bowl with like the kind of this color lid. And we'd pick peas for hours and all the You're stuff. Sure the lid wasn't and like cl more clear, it was like a, yellow. It was like a clearish color like this. And we put it I in that big Tupperware, that green Tupperware. And it was huge as a kid. It felt like it was like four feet across, but I'm sure it was probably only like 12, 13 inches, but so I loved it. Vintage Tupperware, if it has all of its parts and they snap on good, it's really collectible and trending right now. And so I actually found this out in the yard for you'll never guess, $1. Um, and I looked it up, it is a juice. Um, it's one quart juice pitcher. One quart juice pitcher. And I found it for like 24, $26, I can't remember. And it has the handle, which these usually come off and it says Tupperware. It does have some scratches, but an otherwise really great And condition. it still has its lid that's not cracked or split and seals nice. Like it's in good shape. It's a good little uh, container. Tracy says, I sell a lot of vintage Tupperware in my booth and I'm gonna sell it for $14.95. So I found it for like $26-ish, but I thought $14.95 was a good price. Let me see if I can, we got the lights cranked up so we don't have too many shadows. I guess you can kind of see. I says, says her mom had that picture. Yeah, they're just, I have good memories of Tupperware. My mom used it a and ton. And Angie said, oh my goodness, my mom had one just like that when she put water in it. So I even found that the color is uh, country yellow and it's from the 1970s. So All this right. is the last thing we picked up in price. So this was $2 um, and I was like, Jamie, why are you getting that weird thing? I didn't see that it was a pig. She was like holding it like this when she walked up to the register because she found it last minute. I'm like, what is that? And then it's like a little cookie jar. It's glazed on the inside and the outside is like painted matte. So you could easily paint over this, like no problem. It's yeah, it's like they painted it with white chalk paint over the top of the glaze and then they didn't wax it or seal it. But the inside is all glazed. So you can see the inside, you can see the shine on that. It's all glazed up. So fun little cookie jar. It's a pig coming out of like a feed sack. Does it have the price tag on it? I think it was $2. $2, I was gonna say, yeah, it was two bucks. Um, and it's super, super cute. I do think I would repaint that. Um, and it already sold for $19.95. So, pig. There's no maker on the bottom. No, no maker on the bottom, but way cute. And I couldn't find anything else like that. All right, I can't reach that corner. Okay. So we got a couple more things. And then since we're not painting, we're about done for tonight. Let's stick around. This one's cool. This also came from the Goodwill um, in Farmington. So I couldn't find this exact piece, but the maker is Highmark, H-I-M-A-R-K. Country um, Fair. Which is kind of a vintage-y um, company made in Japan. And I find cow creamers all the time, but never a pig. And it's got the sweetest little face, and it's almost like ironstone finish with glade crazing. And then it's big, like you can fit a lot of creamer in that. I love that its tail is the handle, and then they just curled it over here on the side. Lovely little tail. It's very creative. It's super cute. And that was $2.99, what's the price tag fail now? It was $2.99. $2.99, yeah. and I'm selling it for $14.95. All right. Janine says the piggy is so cute. All right, we've got a few more things. These we found for a dollar each. They're brass. <laughs> Like I it, paid five bucks for these. She found the one shelf. and then she like couldn't see because it was on the top shelf and then she felt and she found another one and then she got she dug three out of there. Like and this three. was in the Christmas section, so don't be afraid to dig because sometimes they put it in the wrong spot. So these are all solid brass. I paid a dollar each and I'm gonna sell them for twenty two ninety five. Yeah. Where I live, you're lucky if you can find them for like four to five dollars. So these so. are a pair. And then this one, are you selling them as a set? Jet Les says, do you want antique red hold oh, antique red handled rolling pin? I actually have one in my stash, Les. That's why I bought that one, because it's so cute. 
So tomorrow we're not we're not gonna be thrifting on our way down. We're gonna hustle and get to Bernie tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's Sunday. We don't shop. Yeah, on Sunday. and so we uh, but we wanted to do the thrift haul for you tonight, and we're like, you know, we could pre-record it or we can thrift on our way down, and we left early and opted for thrifting on our way down. I think it's always really exciting though when you're not like we didn't know what we were gonna find or where we were gonna go, but just to prove that like no matter where you go, you can find junk, good yeah. junk. Little towns, like little tiny towns. Um, all all through like Utah and I mean I guess Farmington is a little bit bigger but it's not a big town. Cheryl said I gave you one Jamie. Is it a rolling pin with red handles? Maybe that's where it came from. I don't know but I know I have one. It's one I have in my personal stash. I you know the one sometimes... that's in our that you use in the crock by the stove? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This all is right, the last we still thing. Have last thing and Marlene Farmington New Mexico. Proof you can find good junk even in Farmington. It's beaded on the edge and then it's like a spit, split. Like, would you use that for a candy or like a relish dish? It's kind of small for a relish dish. Maybe for like two different sauces. I say candy dish. I like candy. Um, I paid 99 cents for that. And I cannot remember. I think I marked it for like $6.95. Oh, $9.95. There we go. $9.95 for that one. And I'm a sucker for these style dishes, especially with the swirly inside and it's like good thick glass and the bead. It kind of reminds me of... Someone's knocking someone's on the knocking door. Someone's knocking on the door. You I go answer. Know. I don't know who's here. All right. Well, let's say bye. We're done. Okay. You guys can <laughs> shop this thrift haul at jrvhome.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more. DIY. And with any luck, Monday we will have a short up on the channel because we did some filming today while we were out thrifting. So Zeb's going to attempt to edit it on his phone and get that up on our channel um, on Monday. All right. Hopefully. Bye, guys. We'll see. Thanks for joining us. Catch you guys later.